Okay, we're going to rewrite the followings in terms of their co-functions, and let's look at the first one. Here we have sine of 31 degrees. And of course, we have sine right here. Its co-function is of course cosine. And remember, for the co-function, it means that the two angles, they have to be added to 90 degrees. Because when we have two angles added to be 90 degrees, they are called the complementary angles, right? That's how we get the name co-functions. When we have sine, we have cosine. But here we have 31 degrees already. Well, we just have to ask ourselves, 31 degrees plus what degrees will be 90 degrees? We can figure this out, right? We can just go ahead and look at this angle and do 90 degrees and then minus the 31 degrees that we already have. And you can just work this out. This will be 59 degrees. So we know this right here. Sine of 31 degrees is going to be the same as cosine. And once again, COS stands for cosine, and they are the co-functions. This is going to be the same as cosine of 59 degrees. When these two angles add up to be 90 degrees, sine and cosine will be equal to each other. So that's the beauty of co-functions. And for the second one, we have cotangent, right? So its co-function will be tangent. And here we have 54 degrees already. Do the same thing. Let's go ahead and do 90 degrees minus the 54 degrees that we already have. And we can just work this out. If you subtract, you will end up with 36 degrees. And for cotangent, we will end up with the regular tangent because they have co-functions of each other. And then I will have the 36 degrees right here for the regular tangent. Tangent of 36 degrees is going to be the same as cotangent of 54 degrees. Okay? And lastly, we have secant. Its cofunction will be cosecant. And for cosecant, it spells as CSC. Okay? And right here, this angle altogether is just theta plus 15 degrees. So we have to do some algebra right here. But it's the same fundamental. We look at whatever this is. Okay, right here. And then we do 90 degrees minus this, which is theta minus plus 15 degrees at the moment, like this, right? And then you have to be sure you distribute the negative, so you have to work this out as 90 degrees minus theta and then minus 15 degrees. Combine like terms. 90 degrees minus 15 degrees, we can get 75 degrees and then minus theta. So. For this right here, we have to write a formula. For secant, its cofunction is going to be cosecant. Okay? And then the angle inside, it will be this 75 degrees minus theta. And this right here, this is the same as that. Okay? This is like an identity right here. And that's it.